Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Oh, there's the mic. Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. <laughs> We're doing your reading. Okay, so I stopped drinking coffee. Okay, so don't expect me to be bubbly. Okay, so I'm gonna start drinking wine. <laughs> kidding. How are you? I don't drink alcohol. Saturn <laughs> forbids alcohol. Okay, well, God does. Okay, not in a religious way for me, in a spiritual way. Okay. <sighs> okay, prana. Okay, so I have here the zodiac. So what I did was, oh, your card. Um, I took the zodiacs, major arcana, instead of the paper. They get um, extended reading. They get separate. Okay, so here we go. You got here the Taurus. Okay, so I friend, and I also use this in the in the start of the read. I'm gonna put this there. Okay, and this is for the air sign. So people know that everybody's there, and they're gonna pick. pick. Okay. Um, star card. Mm -hmm. That's the aqua. And these are the fire. Mm -hmm. oh, Leo. Sun. Okay, let me see. Oops. And Cancer. Chart. See? All the water sign. That's your seventh house right there. And then I use this a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone who wants to move closer to you can be. This is travel, holiday with a sun card. Star card is about healing, can be a healing vacay that you're trying to do. Hierophant is a union. But this is also about trying to get to work. Um, where you want a new work, something like that. Or you want more structure at work also. This is wishing for a relationship and of course it's uh, manifesting. But these are major arcana, okay? Major arcana is um, the reason why there's major and minor. Energetically, when you get the sun card, there's a lot of things going on around you that, is, that involves happiness. So you can be invited to a birthday, that's happiness, this happiness, this happiness. That's major things in life, okay? Um, minor arcana is the actual person, you. So actually, you want to see transformation, major arcana. You want to see a lot of movement, uh, minor arcana. That's how I do it. Because okay. major things takes time. The whole world is basically this right now, right? Just to give you guys a heads up on how, um, for me, how it works in predictions. Okay, so let's see what's going on here for the Capricorn. Again, this is sidereal Vedic astrology. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And nothing has changed, just me not drinking coffee. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Capricorn. High Priestess. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to see the situation right now. You could be hiding from it. Again, this is vice versa. You can be a cross watcher. Gentlemen, if you're a bro, you are part of the subject. You don't want to talk to this person. You're basically putting things behind you, um, hiding your feelings, your thoughts from them. Major Arcana. So meaning you're doing a lot of hiding. Or I don't want them to see me here. I don't want to be online, they're gonna see me there. I don't want to cross that street because they're gonna see me. Major. Okay? So that's the High Priestess. Okay? 
and there's a CGI so there's someone's gonna come back behind me so if you feel attacked you know you can you can feel it be attacked <laughs> it's the worst thing in, in your life <laughs> the entitlement if your last name is uh, entitled then <laughs> you're free to comment on that if it's not don't be entitled because entitled gets cut off like a queen of swords yeah, you could be cutting off someone because they feel entitled. It's true. You don't want entitled, right? Mm. You don't want to be entitled. You don't want no part of someone who would take you for granted. Queen of Swords. Yes, yeah, you tell me. Yeah? And I told you you're not talking. Queen of Swords does not talk until it is really love. Queen of Swords that does not mess around, meaning um, does not waste time. If it's not love, forget it. That's a Queen of Swords. They're loving very much. That's Libra. This is Venusian. Okay? Queen of Cups is not Venusian. That's Moon. Okay? That's neediness. Okay? So people get confused about what is love and what is basically when someone is just wanting and needing. You will see. When you are in a relationship with someone and you're all about the needs and the wants, you're acting on your moon sign. Okay, when you're all about the passion, the creation, because Venus is a uh, um, creation. Venus is remember um, she's the um, symbol for uh, semen. Okay, Venus is uh, is that energy. The creation of life is there, so that's Venus. Okay, when oh well, I want to be with them. Uh, when you're in a codependent relationship, you're on your moon sign. Mm -hmm. Because you need the person. You want the person. You can't be without... The moon can never be without himself. Mm -hmm. Without anybody. And that's a concern energy. That's your seventh house. So you always have this neediness for a partner. Even though you're an earth sign. And you wonder, it's like, I don't even know why. I'm always doing well. I can stand on my own. Why do I even want this person? Because your seventh house is ruled by the moon. You will always want someone to be with you in that house. Page of Swords, but it's immature person, which you're tired. Mm -hmm. So the more you understand yourself and your chart, the less time you'd be spending time watching. Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords or the Page of Swords. Research is the key. The reason why I'm talking about research is because the Page of Swords is a researcher. Page of Swords is inquisitive. They want to know what you're doing. Or they have an idea that they want to bring to the table. This is a student. Page is, uh, the Page of Swords is a student. Um, you could be connecting with someone who's starting a new class. You know, a new profession can be. Mm -hmm. yeah, it can be that. Seven of Wands. Hmm. I feel like this person wants to talk. But, there's a big but. They have their own rules. And you have your own rules. So now here comes the tough one. Who breaks the rules? It's almost like you guys are in the UN where you guys are totally being diplomat right now. Okay, well, I'm not going to reach out. Well, I'm not going to do this. You know, I'm not going to do that. So both of you are there. Up, 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 up. Okay. Stagnant though. Very stagnant. There we go. Stagnant. Five of Pentacles. <laughs> Nobody will talk. I told you. And both of you are miserable. It's right here. There's two people. They call it the misery. Oh, uh, suffering in silence. Mm. Because nobody wants to budge. That both need each other. Yeah? Mm. There we go. What you need to understand is not who you are, it's who your seventh house is. Forget about I'm a proud Capricorn, I'm a proud Leo, I'm a proud Sag. You know? People here should focus on their seventh house. Not about who you are. You want to know who you're going to date. You want to know who you're going to be with? You're going to know that seventh house. 
and they're putting putting you in a wait list. Mm hmm. And both of you are just waiting. Who's gonna talk? Because both of you don't know each other. That's why both of you are stuck under there. You may have dated this person for quite some time, but you still couldn't figure it out, right? You still don't understand. It says like, I thought we kind of know where we're at right now. Still no. Mm -mm. Still no. That's why you're putting an ultimatum already. Because for you, it's just like, if it's, this is gonna last that this long, the waiting, you might cut them out. So this is suffering in silence, all right? So link down there in the description box for the extended. I'll read Cancer, Leo, Aqua, and Taurus in the extended. Um, let me see what else. That's it. Paki like, paki share, paki paki post. Para makapahinga. Paalam. Between the two of you, because both of you just doesn't want to talk. Both of you are suffering. Both of you are feeling alone. I'm done. I'm gone. Five of Cups, Seven of Swords, they feel cheated, lied, betrayed, it's just like they're so quiet, for them it's nonsense. Let's see here, ooh. You got here Knight of Cups, 